svieće dobro, ja? Got him! Heck of a shot. Awesome, Jeremy. <laughs> I couldn't get him to check up. I know it, he wouldn't stop for nothing. Awesome, it's the first red fox I've caught up in a long time. I was uh, struck on seeing it. I bet they didn't get it on film, but we got it. <laughs> That's the first red fox I've shot in a long time. Hey, you had coming. Only the second red fox I've killed. Hey. You killed your first gray fox here, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey. I did. I awesome. did. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it was. Let's go out and check it out. <sighs> we grab that uh, X2S on the way. This thing got right on top of that call. And he wouldn't stop. I had muted it. So I started it back up. I was just fixing to shoot him. And I think he. Well, you know, I was just trying to stop him, you know, right there at the car. Too. But anyway, I don't know if he got up there and winded it because this is the wind was blowing like that, so he did get down on the call. But we can grab that thing and grab that call and we'll go there and pick him up. That's an excellent shot on the run, by the way. Especially <laughs> since I watched you miss a big coyote this morning. <laughs> Boy, oh, pretty. Pretty good size, too. Pick him up there. Nice. Beautiful. Do you smell him? <laughs> I smell him. Awesome. Congratulations, bud. Thank you, sir. I don't know about gun to him up none too bad. We usually don't see much of, and that's Red Fox. Got my good friend Jeremy Bailey in from Missouri. He's a Fox Pro field staffer. We're out here putting the uh, Fox Pro X2S through his paces. Been hunting the last couple days and really ain't had much luck. But we did call a couple coyotes in this morning, but just couldn't make nothing happen. Got back here on this stand. We're hunting right here in South Central Kentucky. Uh, right here on a on a coyote stand, actually just trying to call any predator in. We were hoping for bobcats, coyotes, right, but this right here was the last thing that we expected to come to the call, but we'd actually started out, and the only sound we ran was cagey cottontail. We run it for a few minutes, and it was actually given, you know, we would run it for about two minutes, and then we would pause it, and then we'd start it back up, and right on a pause, I catch Jeremy out of the corner of my eye starting to move down towards the woods. Here come this sucker running up through here. What did it do? Get within 10 steps of the call or closer, oh, five closer, steps of the call. Closer. But anyway, he, he, we couldn't get him to stop. I ended up turning the call back on, and I don't know if that spooked him, or he, he actually got down with the call. Yeah. Anyway, he boogered out and left off, and Jeremy laid an absolutely exceptional shot on him. Awesome shooting, Jeremy. Appreciate you coming down hunting with us, too. I appreciate you inviting me. Hey, congratulations. Thanks for joining us on Tooth & Claw TV.